Hello friends, my name is Theo and today in this exciting Mies New Media tutorial we talk about how to make a little cutout for your tutorial videos if you want people to see your face. I personally really hate these little face cams and tutorials, so this guy's going away. So we're going to be doing this on the color and edit page and we're not going to be touching the fusion page at all. One of my friends made a tutorial where she tried to use the fusion page and it is just a mess because you're going to render super slow. This is a much cooler technique. It'll render much faster. And we're going to make a power grade at the end that you can download from my website for whatever you want to pay, whether it's $0 or a million dollars. So first of all, you see we've got our unedited screen recording right here in our timeline. And now the first thing we'll do is click on our camera footage, see right here, and drag this into our timeline. And then we will align these two by selecting both, right clicking, go to auto align clips based on waveform. It'll think for a second. And there we go. And if we zoom into an obvious spot like right here, you can see it looks pretty much aligned. Great. And we of course edit away, but we'll go right into the color page. So this is where the magic is going to happen. So first I'll apply some quick color correction just so you don't have to look at this. So here I just did some basic color correction in this compound node to get the brightness back because I obviously did not look at the back of the camera whenever I record this. And then I added two LUTs from the Swiss LUTs pack on my website. And this one I turned down a little bit. So if you are interested in going from this to that, you know, Mister.media slash products and then look for the Swiss Lutz pack. Okay, now let's move all these guys out of the way, hit all this, and now we're going to be going from here on. And we're going to start off with an easy version and then get progressively more complicated. So this first easy version, we're just going to hit Alt-C to create a new node with a circle window. You can also just hit Alt-S to create a new node and add in a circle window yourself, but that is not as cool. And we'll turn this softness down to zero. And we'll expand it out and just have our face in here looking good. And now if we hit Alt H, you can see this is cutting it out. But if we go back to our timeline with Shift 4 or you can hit down there, you see it's not coming out. So the key to this is adding in an alpha output. So right click, you add alpha output. And now this little blue box here is the alpha output of the node. So you can go to the alpha output of your old color correction. And now you see, we get it right there. If we go back into our timeline, we could change the sizing in the color page, but I find it a little handier to change the sizing in the edit page. And now look at this. We've got our guy right there. And that is pulling in good for most people. So that's going to be nice and fast and easy. If you want to do it that way, that's what I probably recommend. But if you want to make it a little more complicated, you know, keep watching. Now what we'll do is we'll add a drop shadow. Now we'll get to really using the color page like a compositor, which I think is fun. So in our open effects effects, we'll type in color for color generator. And we'll make this very dark gray. And this needs an input. There we go. And now if we solo this, you see you just get a dark gray. And now we will need to add another node after this. From here, we can take the alpha output from our circle window from before. Now we're getting that. But that's not really giving us much of a drop shadow. So let's zoom way in so we can really see. See, still no drop shadow. And let's, of course, also add these two things together so we can actually see layer mixer. Boop, boop, Alt S, and output. And if we solo this, see, no drop shadow. So in here, what we can do is go into our node key and we can blur this a little bit. Let's see, see we're blurring that out. And that's looking good. And then we can go to our sizing tab, change this from input sizing to node sizing. So now the edit effects that we're going to be doing only take place in this node and don't affect our actual footage. And then we can pan this maybe 20 and 20, minus 20, and see how this is looking. And we can find those together. We can't really see what's going on here because we need to add an actual alpha output for this guy as well. So our shadow node and our view node have two different alphas because remember we blurred and offset this guy. So we're actually going to need to add a key mixer. Wow, pretty advanced stuff. So we're going to add these two mats together. You see we get this combined mat. And now if we put this into our output and hit Shift H, now we're getting that shadow. So this is great. And we can, of course, still adjust this any amount that we want. If we want the shadow coming to the other side or there, this is all looking good. We can adjust the blur radius. And since this is all linked to our original guy, if we 
change this mask around. Let's say we wanted a square instead. And let's turn all these to zero. You zoom in, you see we're still getting that shadow even with this different shape that we can make as irregular as we want. Now I've gone ahead and wrapped up this sort of mess of a grade into a power grade for you. So if you want to, you can go over to Meissner.media, click on the products tab. Then right here, we've got our color page cutout power grade and you can pay you know, $1,000 or $0 or anything in between or above, but you can't pay below $0. Sorry, and you just hit add to cart. If you wanna add anything else to there, you can as well. And then click up here, then go to checkout and here you can fill out your contact info and then click continue and continue again. Don't have to put in any payment information and then you can go ahead and download. I've got two versions. I've got the big version that you saw and then the no shadow version. So I'll go ahead and download the big version here and it's got instructions as well. So download and I'll just save this here. You see it's a nice small file and then to import it, just right click, go to import and click on this. Boop, there you get it. And now here to apply it, we can just add it right like this. You see the one step that you need to do is right click, go to add alpha output and just connect this last alpha right there. And now you've got your thing right and ready to go. I've also added in this extra little note as a correction in case you want to animate your thing like I did in the tutorial, but hopefully that helps out. Also, while you're on Meissner.media, you can check out the training tab and sign up to get notified of the upcoming course. I'm getting pretty close, y'all. I've only got a couple more videos to record and then a good handful to edit. And then you might start getting an email or two about the things coming up. So I still haven't even sent an email to this list yet. I'm not going to be spamming you. I hate spammy email. So feel free to sign up to this, get notified about the course. It is a crazy course. I have both made and taken several <laughs> courses of various qualities. And I tell you what, this is this is going to be an absolute steal, especially at the beginning. So be sure to check that out if you're interested. And if you're not, don't. You've already clicked away from the video. So once again, I've been Theo with Meester Media. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.